guys, I'm going to check out the predictive text feature of iOS 8. But to make it a little bit interesting and to make it practical, um, I was going to go and buy some beer goggles, but unfortunately I didn't have the time, so I'm going to do an alternative here. I'm going to cover these sunglasses with sticky tape, and I'm going to make it really hard to see through here, and then I'm going to test out the feature um, and check out predictive texting on iOS 8, I guess. I'm going to have to use Messenger for some reason because my text and my email does not have predictive messaging at the moment. I have no idea. Other people I've spoken to seem to have the feature, other people don't. I think it's just because it's in beta, there's a few bugs going around. This predictive text feature, it actually learns how you type to certain people, and depending on if it's mail or messaging, you have a different tone normally. For mail, it's a bit more professional normally. Uh, messaging, obviously, it's a bit more casual. So uh, it tries to learn your habits and it tries to adapt. So that's a really cool thing. And I'm gonna test it out on Messenger. I'm just gonna cover these glasses in sticky tape. And it's gonna pull off that same kind of feel. It's gonna have the, the bumps, the ridges, and it's gonna make it hard to see through these glasses. So I'm just going to cover it in some wacky ways. This is looking beautiful so far, a bit of a fashion statement. Mm. Alright, well I'll just put a little bit more on. It's already hard enough seeing through sunglasses in a dark room. So that's going to be a challenge on its own. With sticky tape covering the lenses, it's going to be a little trickier to see through. And there's the message cue from someone. And I'm going to be messaging them, test out this feature. All right, let's jump into this. Don't want them to be waiting. It's actually a Lexus from France. Really awesome dude and an awesome, awesome person. So a big shout out to him. Thank you for helping me out with this. Holy crap, I can barely see. Well, okay, let's check this out. This is really hard to see through. Uh, you can see here is the predictive text feature. I um filming and there you go tap that boom and now as you can see it's actually really hard to see out of these i should wear these into public see what people think of me they'll probably think i have a problem but hey who cares here we go so that's the first little test there um, I also noticed that along the top here there is a bug reporter feature for iOS 8 which is nice and useful to, for developers. It allows them to um, hit back with Apple and let them know directly what's going on. Uh, it doesn't pop up with any punctuation unfortunately. And I'm assuming it will pick up all of my habits after a little while. It's doing a pretty decent job so far. This works quite well. I'm actually really impressed with this and I'm excited to see the fully fledged release because then it will actually work towards my typing style. I'm keen to have iMessages enabled, um, have Twitter, Facebook, uh, you know, my mail and everything. And I think I am going to be really happy with this feature. I feel like if I was drunk and I was messaging on my iPhone or iPad or whatever, um, this would be a really useful feature. It's got that autocorrect feature and then on top of that we now have predictive text. And I know that Apple are late to the party, this has been around for a while now. But it seems to work flawlessly, and the fact that it learns your habits is really awesome. I haven't really played around on any other predictive um, text format where it's actually kind of worked with your style and it's and it's worked differently for different applications. That's a really unique feature. I'd love to know what you think of this predictive text feature. I'd also love to know what you think of iOS 8 so far. Personally, I haven't played around with it uh, for too long yet. It's not a major update though. There are some crucial updates in iOS 8 that I've been waiting for for a while. But in terms of a massive update and something to keep up with Android and Windows, it isn't phenomenal. Like All of these features are available on Android and they're available on some Windows phones already. So I guess Apple are just trying to refine the technology and make it perfect for everyone. They always want that that really satisfying experience on their operating system. And so far I'm really enjoying it. So <laughs> Alexis just said, no need to jailbreak anymore. We're going to check out the quick reply feature now. Here it is. Tap down and it's as simple as that. So I'm going to record and 
This is all going to be on YouTube. Again, Alexis, you're awesome for doing this. Um, what's up? I'm recording, I guess. Uh, this is the audio test. And then I can send it from there. Go into my messages, and here it is. So let me know what you think in the comments below, and peace out.